Hey guys, it's Cam and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be giving you guys a tour of what is on my iPad as well as any productivity apps that I have to share with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing what's on my iPad and looking for more ways to become productive, then just keep on watching. So I have an 11 inch iPad Pro and mine is in the space gray color. I got it last year. I do know that it's not the M1, but I'm not really sure like what model it is. So it's just what my iPad is. And then this case is from Amazon. It was like $11. If I can find it, I'll leave a link for you guys down below. But that is all that I have to show you guys about my iPad as well as my generation two Apple Pencil. So when you first open my iPad, I have this make today happy picture. Um, I've had it for about two years. I'm not really sure where I got it from. It was just a picture that I found and I thought it was cute. So I just wanted to add it on there. And then when you open up my iPad, I have a calendar widget in the top left corner. It just has the day in bold font and then it has like the monthly calendar as well as the date. And then moving over, I have email, weather, app store, clock, notes, and settings. And then my first productivity app is Google Calendar. I find this one a lot more organized than the Apple Calendar. So that's just my choice to use, especially when it comes to bills and appointments. I can really see at a snapshot glance what I have coming up this month, what I have to prepare for so I really love Google Calendar and then I have YouTube, YouTube Studio, and Pinterest and then my next productivity app is Notion so here I do have a couple different pages so I have Cam's Day which is mainly just my work schedule so I'm not really going to put that on here and then I have my course schedule which has been helping me a lot with school I can see all my classes just at a glance what I need to get done for that week and I have found that it's made me a lot more productive throughout the week making sure that I get my homework done then I have my journal so I do try to journal every single day if for some reason I don't I really don't beat myself up about it but it is something that I enjoy doing um, now that I've gotten my notion all set up how I want it to B, I um, do make a point to make my journal entries every single day. And then I have my habit tracker. So on here I have journaling, skincare, and exercise. And that's not necessarily that I have to get those things done every single day. It's just things that I want to continue to do every day. So possibly they'll just become a habit and I won't even have to think about it. And then I have my mood tracker and my gratitude journal. I'm not really going to show you guys those either, but it's a pretty simple, um, like a pretty simple thing. Like I just track my moods and then I write what I'm grateful for throughout the day. And then I have TikTok, Facebook, Reddit, and Twitter. And I don't really use my iPad that much for social media. I'll usually just use my phone, but at the same time, I haven't really been on social media a whole bunch lately. So those are just on here if I do happen to want to get on those. And then moving over, I have my photography folder. So in here is just camera and photos, which I rarely ever use. And then I have my entertainment folder, which just has Hulu, Netflix, Spotify, which I don't use anymore, Disney Plus, and Paramount Plus. And I just use those if I just want to watch like shows on my iPad when I'm laying in bed or something. I have this to use instead of using my phone. Um, and then I have my shopping folder, which just has Amazon and Apple Store. I used to have a bunch of shopping apps on my iPad and then I deleted half of them just because it wasn't super productive. When I get on my iPad I want to get things done and shopping is not going to help me get those things done so I did delete a lot of my shopping apps off of here. And then I have my artsy folder which just has pigment, procreate, and vectornator. So pigment is a digital coloring book and I don't really have coloring books like paper coloring books so if I do want to color I just have it on here and I can do that. And then procreate I rarely ever use because I'm not creative but I do like to go on there sometimes just to play around with the brushes and stuff so that's fun to have on there sometimes. And then vectornator is just like procreate except it's just the free app version 
um, and then I have my Microsoft folder so in here I just have OneNote, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint and really the only app that I use out of this folder is Word. I do have a keyboard for my iPad so if for some reason I don't want to use my laptop or my desktop I can just sit somewhere and type whatever I need to type up on my iPad. So next is my school folder. So I have GoodNotes and Notability, which are two of my favorite productivity apps. I use those for notes and I have used them before for digital bullet journaling. So those apps I feel like can be super productive, especially when it comes to to-do lists or just making sure that you are writing everything down that you need to know. I use those too. And then I have OneDrive, Quizlet, Pulse, and Calculator. And Pulse is just a app from my school that I can track all my assignments and grades on. So yeah, that's all that is on my iPad. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do not forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.